Sabbath boys and girls, welcome back to another Sabbath School program and a special welcome to those who are joining us for the first time. I hope everything is going well for you and that you are staying safe. The title of today's story is An Animal Parade. We occasionally watch parades with various groups such as the Adventurers and Pathfinders Club who perform for us on Pathfinders Day. Another example is the military which parades its soldiers. Think of how exciting it is to watch a parade. Isn't it lots of fun? <laughs> Although we rarely get to see a parade of animals, a long time ago, Noah and his neighbors witnessed an amazing animal parade. And I know you are curious about wonderful things that happened that day. So stay tuned to the program and you will learn all about that parade. Before we get started, we will have prayer followed by a few songs. Dear God, make us be obedient like Noah, like you asking to do the to to build the, the ark, and Noah obey you, and thank you for providing for us and making us good children, making us so obedient, good, and obey you, and don't and and don't listen to sin. Only you, and you're our mighty God. In Jesus' name, amen. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like the ocean in my soul. I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got joy like the fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The made the trees, He made the seas, He made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are is, the rivers are is, the skies are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. There's God is so big. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Animals, animals. Jesus made the animals. Great big animal, little tiny animal. Animals, animals. Jesus, here is an animal that Jesus made. Dog. Jesus made the dog. Great big dog, little tiny dog, 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 dog is an animal that Jesus made. Lion, lion, Jesus made the lion, great big lion, little tiny lion, 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 lion is an 
animal that Jesus made. Penguin, penguin, Jesus made the penguin. Great big penguin, little tiny penguin. Penguin, penguin, penguin is animal that Jesus made. Llama, llama, Jesus made the llama. Great big llama, little tiny llama. Llama, llama, llama is an animal that Jesus made. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus come. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine till Jesus come. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine till Jesus come. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out? No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out? No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out? No, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hello, everyone. My name is Julia Fernitali. Today I'm going to read a memory verse from Psalm 52 verse 9 and it says, For what you have done, I will always praise you. Hello boys and girls, happy Sabbath! Today's story is a very interesting one. Have you all ever heard or ever seen all kinds of animals walking, hopping, flying towards a big boat? Well, Noah made it happen. When Noah finished his ark, the animals came into the ark and it happened. Let us learn more in the story. Bye, boys and girls. I hope you have a great Sabbath. Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called An Animal Parade. Today's memory verse is from Psalms 52, verse 9. It says, I will praise you forever for what you have done. The message for today's story is we thank God for taking care of us. Isn't it fun to watch a parade? A long time ago, Noah and his neighbors watched an animal parade. Noah's son stacked the last sack of grain with the other food inside the ark, then came to stand beside his father at the open door. Noah was quiet for a very long time. Finally, he said, It is finished. We have done everything the Lord told us to do. Noah walked down the ramp. A small crowd of people had gathered around it. People often came to hear Noah tell about the coming flood, and then they would laugh and laugh and laugh. They called him a crazy old man. Water has never covered the earth, they would shout. Why should we believe that it ever will? Because God told me it will. Noah always answered. But these people did not love God. They didn't care what God said. It's almost time, Noah said to the people. The ark is finished. The flood is coming. Come into the ark, Noah begged. Please, God wants so much to save you. Everybody laughed and laughed, but tears filled Noah's eyes. Nobody believed him. Nobody believed God. Then suddenly someone shouted, Lions! Everyone turned to see. Two brown, strong lions walked toward the crowd. They had their eyes fixed on the ark. They walked right up the ramp and disappeared inside. Elephants! Someone shouted. Two big gray elephants trotted toward the ark. They also climbed the long ramp and disappeared inside. What kind of trick is this? Someone shouted. How are you making the animals do that? Noah's face spread into a huge smile. It is the Lord, he exclaimed. The Lord is leading the animals aboard. I don't have anything to do with it. All that day, animals came into the ark. 
The crowd watched in silence. When the last animal was safely inside, Noah once again came to the door of the ark. This is your last chance, Noah pleaded. Please come inside and be safe. But no one moved. Noah turned away and walked quietly back into the ark. Then God himself shut the big door to the ark and sealed Noah's family and the animals inside. God had a plan to take care of Noah's family and the animals, and he has a plan to take care of us, too. It's quiz time! Question number one. How many people entered the ark? Question number two. How did the animals enter the ark? And question number three. What was leading the animals? Send your answers to the email that will be shown shortly after. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls! Today, we continue to learn about Noah and how God cares for us. Now, God used Noah and his family to take care of all the animals that were on the ark. Now, Micah and Matthew, do you believe that God also takes care of us? Yes! No. Yes! God uses things and people to show that he cares for us. So today, I have a bag here, and inside of my bag are some things or persons who God can use to take care of us. So, Matthew, can you take something out? No, not me. What did you get? Apple! Apple. So, God gave us fruits. Now, why do you think God would give us fruits? Because we are hungry. Right, because when we are hungry, we can eat it and we can be healthy and we can grow strong. Now, Mecca, can you take something from the bag? One, one, please. Just one, Mecca. Just one. Okay, what did you get? Macaroni and cheese. So, God also provides food. Now, what does food do to us? It makes us healthy. Right, food makes us healthy. And when we eat food, we get healthy and strong and it helps us to grow, right? Yeah. Matthew, can you take something else out of the bag? What did you get? Picture. Picture. Turn it around so everyone can see. A picture of who? My family. Right, of your family, right? Now, why would God give you your family? Yes, turn it around so everybody can see. Why would God give you your family? Because he loves us pretty much and he, does, and he still loves us when we're bad. Right, because our family is there to take care of us, right? And they will love us whether we are doing good or bad and they help to guide us, correct? No, my yes. God. Yes, they correct us. No, Micah and Matthew. No, Micah and Matthew. Now, what else do you think God gives us so that we can to take care of us or so we can take care of them? What else did God give us? Um, daddy. Right, we already spoke about daddies, but what else? Fish. He gave us flowers so that we can take care of it so it brings beauty into our lives. What else does he give us? Also, there are animals so that we can take care of animals. Correct? Yeah. Right. Now we praise God and let us praise God today for taking care of us and providing us with all of these things. Now can you say the message after me? We praise you, O oh God. We praise you, O oh God. For taking care of for us. For taking care of us. Matthew, you want to join us? We, we praise, praise you, O oh God, God, for, for taking, taking care, care of, of us. us. And boys and girls at home, why don't you praise God with us? We praise you, O oh God for taking care of us. So as we continue to worship God, boys and girls, remember that God cares. Welcome back, boys and girls. Did you enjoy the story? It was strange to watch the animals walk toward the hawk, hop the ramp and disappear inside without no one leading them. It was an unusual parade. Some of the people Noah preached to were amazed as they watched the animals, but God was leading them. 
Noah was a God-fearing man, so he did everything God told him to do. God had a plan for Noah's family and the animals, and he has a plan for us as well. So boys and girls, remember to be obedient to God, and when he comes, he will take us to heaven with him. Before we go, let us have a word of prayer. Almighty God, great thou heart, we give you thanks today for this program and we ask your blessing on it. Thank you for our children. Thank you for making the animals. And we pray that we will take the very best care of them. We thank you for all those who participated today and for those who tune in to the program. Thank you for your many, many blessings. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourselves a wonderful week.